I'm Anil Kumar and here is a review question on surface area of three dimensional shapes, right? So the question here is, a silo shown below is painted from outside. So that's the diagram. It's a combination of a cylinder with sphere on the top. Calculate the area to be painted. So this area to be painted is from the outside area. How many cans of paint are required if one can covers 80 meters square? And part C is, if the cost of a can of paint is $1.35, what is the total cost including tax of 13% to paint this silo? So that is your question. I missed, you know, a few parts in this question, but I hope you get the gist of it. So the question here is that we are given a silo, which is combination of the cylindrical part with a sphere on the top, whose height is 15 meters and the radius is 3 meters. You need to calculate the surface area of the whole structure from outside. And then you'll know what area is to be painted. And then you are given that one can of paint can cover 80 meters square. So how many cans of paint you need? And then if the cost of each can of paint is $35, then what is the total cost of paint, which also should include 13% of the tax? I hope now the question is clear. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, this is kind of a review question. Let us understand the formulas first. So when we say it calculate area to be painted, we find different kind of surfaces here, right? So first is a sphere on the top. Now that sphere is like a semi-sphere, half of the sphere, right? So so that sphere is just half of the sphere, not, not full sphere. So you have to consider that. Bottom is kind of a circle, right? And then we have a lateral area of the cylinder, right? So these are the surfaces which you need to paint for, correct? So, so what we will do is, let's write down the formula. Surface area for a sphere, right? So let's say sphere is how much? Is 4 pi r square, correct? It is 4 pi r square. But we are only considering half of it. So in this particular case we are doing half right since that top part is being painted so it will be half of 4 pi r square correct so you have to use in this formula r as 3 right so that becomes the radius here correct and then evaluate now surface area for the circle which is right in the bottom right so surface area of let me say surface area or I should say area of that circular portion is pi r square. Now there are questions when we say that the silo is in the farm, right, kind of fixed. So in that case, this is like on the ground, so you don't paint that surface in such cases, right. So this is of the circle. But in our case, we are saying painted from outside, so there are no restrictions, right. Then we have the lateral surface area. So let me call lateral surface area that is of the cylinder right so this is this portion now this portion is 2 pi r is the circumference and the height so the formula is 2 pi r times h so so that is the surface area of the cylinder right so you have to calculate that so well we'll just use the calculator and plug in the values and calculate each surface area uh, you can check with your calculations also so first one is 4 times pi times r square r is 3. So we'll say times 3 square. So let's say this and then we have to divide this by 2 since this semisphere, right? So it is 18 pi or approximately 56.54. So I will round this, this area to... 56.55 okay now let's talk about the bottom part right which is pi r square so it is pi you can take as 3.14 also so it is 
pi and r square is 9 for us so let's say 3 square equals to that is in decimals so we are saying this bottom part is 28.27 so we'll write this as okay round it to 7 now let's find the lateral area which is 2 pi r h so we'll 2 times pi we could use 3.14 as I said times radius is 3 times height is 15 so that gives you 90 pi or so we say this this area is equal to 282.74 so right 282.74 correct so adding all these values we get the total area so we have 56.55 plus 282.74 plus 28.27 right so let's add them up so let's write these values once again so okay let's add 56.55 plus 28.27 that gives us 367.56 so 367.56 right so that is what we get as the area in meter square okay now you may get a different value because of the rounding but anyway round to one decimal place at the end that should be good enough now how many cans of paint are required if one can covers 80 meter square so you have to divide this by 80 correct so in this case you have to divide your area which is 360 let us say 8 divided by 80 right so that will give you the number of cans is it okay so let's divide 368 368 by 80 so that gives us 4.6 now 4.6 means you have to buy five cans okay so you have to buy five cans you cannot buy and a half okay what is the cost if cost of each can is 35 so the cost will be of five cans will be dollars 35 times 5 that is first thing so let's find the cost 35 times 5 and that gives you cost of 175 now you have to add 13 percent tax to this okay that is what we have that means time 0.13 so approximately it is 22.75 so when you add this so we'll add this to 175 to get the total amount which is 197.75 dollars so that is how you have to solve this question in steps right so i have explained you the steps right but not really clearly written them down you should write all these steps clearly understand how to find the surface area and then the number of cans round them to the whole number that is critical and then find cost include tax i hope that helps thank you and all the best